Hey guys, when I woke up today, I turned on my PC. The world was not as the same. It's completely changed. You know what has happened? You are about to. But first things first, let's roll the intro. Hey what's up guys I hope you're having a great day welcome back to the brand new exciting video if you are new here this is Divinson here for my channel I make videos here on YouTube about filmmaking and other VFX stuff as well if you're into that stuff consider subscribing and turn on the bell notification icon so you never miss a thing on my channel you guys may know may not know the After Effects 2022 has been released you guys might be thinking whether you're gonna upgrade or not if that's so this video is for everyone who want to know something excited so in this video I'm gonna talk about new features in new version of After Effects is that sound interesting let's get started so new After Effects brings up a new game changer a new tracking module improved adjust track module in Mocha AE really cool new feature also available in new version of Adobe After Effects and this is within Mocha tracking software. If you guys are not familiar with this software, Mocha is a tracking software that ships along with After Effects. Just search for Mocha and drag it onto the footage you want to track and launch it by clicking on the Mocha icon. Well, so far so good. And most of you knew this already. But starting today, you also get the new and improved adjust tracking module that until now only Mocha Pro users could benefit from. So here's the quick overview, how it works and when you actually need it. So let's say you have a track to your shot and everything works fine. But when you take a closer look with the blue rectangle, the track surface, it seems to drift over time. And this could happen because motion blur or if the object moves in and out of frame. So retracking could be an option. I'm actually pretty happy with this track. So let's adjust it in the same way as the track I want to adjust. Translation, scale, rotation, shear and perspective. And hit on set points and now it creates point for me in the corner of my track surface and I can align them and see the zoom preview perfect so when I scrub through this now as well as the current frame so I can find issues in a super easy way when I spot the sun drifting I simply will adjust it and while doing so I have fine controls which makes this process even simpler so once I'm done, let's overlay the surface again and we have a super perfect track. And once done, you can use the key light and remove the background, do such things. So next on the list is multi-frame rendering. What is that? Well, After Effects now can render multi-frame at once and there's also a new render queue design. Let's have a quick look. So when you render a clip, the green stripe represents the frame that are rendering at the same time and at the moment you see the blue of course shows finished frames and when you click on info you can see in detail how many frames you are rendering at once as well as the average frame render time and all of this is set to default when you launch it so you really don't have to do anything so you see that this is really huge improvement so continuing to the next on the list speculative rendering so what is that let's compare this with all the version of after effects Let's keep open your project in the older version so you can see it takes lots of time to preview and caching. See, nothing happened. See? But at the same time, let's open the After Effects 2022. So let's say you are having your project open. It will start caching frames. So once you come back from the coffee break to your computer, you have your preview ready to watch and also ready to render because those frames do not have to be calculated again. And by default, this happens after 8 seconds. But you can change that in your preferences under previews and that is so cool and if you have not updated yet you have to do it right now so next on the list is motion sketch let's have a quick look okay let's make a new composition in after effects and make a new text layer and type something i'm gonna type my name let's change the size font align on the text Once done, let's go to window menu and hit the motion sketch. And then select the text layer. Right over here, select the start capture and then draw a path the way you want. I'm going to draw something like this. And then let's hit the space button and play it. There you go. It's automatically created an animated path. And you can hit the U key and give smoothness to the keyframe manually. 
or else just right over here on the right side you can give the smoothness to the keyframes and change the speed of animation it's really powerful too there you go this is pretty much it guys from today's video i hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it if you did consider subscribing and turn on the bell notification icon i'm gonna do tutorials here and there follow me on instagram twitter links in the description box i'll see you guys on next one stay creative peace